Rosella Mosby owns Mosby Farms in South King County, where she and her husband grow a variety of hand-weeded, hand-harvested crops. We grow leeks, beets, rhubarb, zucchini, cucumber. But new legislation has her worried for the farm's future. Washington lawmakers are mulling SB 5172, which would add overtime protections for agricultural workers like employees on the Mosby Farm. Here, they work long hours during harvest season, but get paid the same rate per hour. SB 5172 would phase in time and a half pay at 55 hours a week in 2022, dropping to 48 in 2023 and 40 hours per week in 2024. Even though we realize we're looking at overtime, there will be farms that close because they straight up will not be able to afford to pay overtime. But advocates at United Farm Workers say this change is long overdue because agriculture workers were exempted under federal labor standards since the 30s. There's just this, you know, historic inequity that hangs over this country. Overtime protections for that most other folks take for granted um, are essentially they are health, health and safety protections. It is not the, the human body is not meant to be worked to death. The bill came from a November state Supreme Court ruling which found dairy workers were eligible for overtime. Now lawmakers are hoping to get rules on the books to prevent the chaos of rules being hashed out as the result of lawsuits from ag workers. I think it's, there's a really there's a lot of really deep compromises that have been made on both sides, both on the sides of farm workers and, and advocate groups um, and on the sides of the growers. Rosella knows change is coming, but she hopes the final law prevents retroactive overtime claims, which could be steep. The current version does include this though she worries about her ability to compete with growers in other states. We'll have to really weigh what we are doing. Michael Crow, King 5 News.